Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of my channel RG Innovations. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell button to get all the updates. In today's episode, I am going to discuss how you can start electronics as your hobby. Rather, I would say I would discuss which basic components you need to start electronics as your hobby. There are hundreds of thousands of components available in the market, but you don't need to have all those. A few basic components you can start up with and then you can advance your skill on electronics. So not wasting much time, let us move on to the basic components required for starting electronics as a hobby. The very first thing you need for electronics hobby is a power supply. If you are having a variable power supply, that is well and good. But if you do not have one, you would require battery to give power supply to your project. You may use double A battery like this. Or you may use a 9 volt battery like this. Or you can use a triple A battery. There are different types of batteries available in the market. But for basic startup, you can have these two types of batteries and along with that uh, these type of battery holders that can contain two or four of the batteries and give proper supply to your project. The next item which we need is a connector for the batteries or for the power supply. These are barrel jacks, DC barrel jacks and this is DC barrel socket. These are used to connect the batteries with the project. You can have few of these and at the right side this is a snap connector that connects to the 9 volt battery and used to give power supply to your project. So I would suggest that you have 2-3 of these things in your project box. The next thing that you need are wires and jumper cables. Wires are used to interconnect the components those you used in a project and these jumper cables are used when you build your project on a breadboard. I'd come to breadboard just in a minute after this slide. but these wires you need to start up. These are alligator clip wires. These things also can be used to interconnect the components, to interconnect the power supply to the project and interconnect your various project components. So these things are not that much essential but you can have those in your stock. Next is a breadboard. A breadboard is very much essential for building a project prototype. If you are building any project you can use this breadboard to check the circuit, to test the circuit and then you can later implement it on a PCB or a Vero board. So I would suggest that you definitely have a breadboard in your project box. The next items, these are not very essential but you can have a few of these are Berg strip male and female headers. These things are used to connect wires or insert wires in the breadboard. The next item is very very much essential for hobby electronics. These are called light emitting diodes or LED. There are different types of LEDs in terms of shape, color, luminosity and sizes. So I would suggest you should have at least 5 pieces of different colors of LED in your project box. These LEDs look very beautiful when they glow and they also used as indicator in projects. Next I am coming to a very important component that you must have is resistor or resistance. Resistor or resistance is used to limit voltage or current to a project. I have mentioned some values of which some of them are voltage limiting and some of them are current limiting resistors. So you should have these resistors in your box like 100 ohms, 150 ohms, 200, 220 ohms, 350 ohms, 470 ohms, 1 kilo ohms, 10 kilo ohms, 47 kilo ohms, 100 kilo ohms, 470 kilo ohms, 1 mega ohms. These resistances are essential for building projects. So I would suggest you should have 5 pieces of each resistance in your project box. Resistances are very cheap component. You can have all these resistances in very low price. The next important component is variable resistance. Variable resistances are also available in different types and shapes. I have shown you a few types and shapes here like uh, this is very common. This type is very common. You can have these presets or variable resistances in your stock for different projects. Uh, I would suggest these values 10 kilo ohm, 100 kilo ohm, 500 kilo ohm and 1 mega ohm resistances, variable resistances you should have in your project box. The next item that you should have in your project box is a diode or zener diode. Zener diodes are not that much essential for beginning a basic project. I would suggest you have basic diodes 1N4007 
in your stock at least have five or ten pieces in your stock the next component that you would essentially need are capacitors for your beginning you would need electrolytic capacitor and ceramic capacitors for electrolytic capacitor i would suggest you have one microfarad 10 microfarad 100 microfarad 220 microfarad and 1000 microfarad capacitors in your stock at least two pieces of each and for the ceramic capacitors you have 0.1 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 0.22 in your stock. Now move on to the next component that is transistor. Transistor also is very essential for electronic projects building. There are two types of transistors available NPN and PNP. I would suggest for NPN you should have BC548, BC547, 2N2222 transistors at least three fourths of each in your stock and for PNP transistors you should have AC128 BC558 transistors in your stock at least four five of each. These would be required in various projects. Now the next important component that you need to have are switches. There are different types of switches available in the market but you need at least a few basic types to have. I would suggest uh, you have these types of on off switches, these types of toggle switches, these type of push to on type switches which easily fits on a breadboard this type of slide switches you can have these are also very useful and most important these types of tactile switches which are also very useful when you are making your project on a breadboard so you can have these types of switches in your stock now a very important thing that you should have in your stock are integrated circuits or ICs there are hundreds of thousands of ICs available in the market for different purposes but you would need some basic ICs that can be used in very basic projects you can uh, start with so I would suggest you should have any 555 that is the most essential and most required IC for doing projects and you can then have CD4017, UNL2003 and then one musical IC UM66 in your stock. Then comes IC base. If you are buying an IC, this IC base would save you from damaging the ICs while soldering this on PCBs. ICs can damage with heat so to protect it from heat you first solder this IC base on PCB and then put the IC on it. So you can buy some IC bases with your ICs. Now these are a good substitute for PCBs. If you don't have PCB for your project, you can solder your project on this. Uh, the first one is called perforated board or perf board and the second one is called IC Vero board. These two types of board are almost similar. Only the difference is in the perf board, the copper strip are not continuous. Every single perforation has a little copper layer. And in this Vero board, there are continuous copper lines which helps to interconnect the components. So you should have at least one one of this in your stock. Now for the next, we should have seven segment display for project building. These are used to display numbers in your project. You can have one or two in your stock. The next element is very much favorite by the electronic hobbyists. From all of our childhood, we were interested that how a car moves. We wanted to break it open and take out the motor from it. Now, when starting your hobby electronics, you should have two, three of the motors so that you can build projects like fans, like propellers, etc. And the next component that I am going to discuss, one is light dependent resistor and another is infrared transmitter receiver. These two components are used for automation project, basic automation. The LDR at the left side these things are used to make projects like automatic street light, automatic night light, automatic daybreak light, etc. And these infrared transmitter and receiver are used to make projects like automatic water dispenser, automatic sanitizer dispenser, this kind of projects. So you can have a few of this in your stock. The next component is relay. It is also very important component. Relays are mainly used for driving high voltage loads with low voltage project circuits. So when you are building project with 5 volts or 9 volts or 12 volts, you can use a relay to drive 220 volt or 110 volts devices. There are relays available of 3 volt, 6 volt, 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt. You should buy as per your requirement. I would suggest have at least a 5 volt relay and a 12 volt relay in your project box. The 5 volt relay would drive fine with 3.5 volts and the 12 volt relay would drive fine with a 9 volt project. The next components are a speaker, a buzzer and a microphone. When you are doing any 
sound related project these things are essential like if you are building a musical bell with um66 ic you would need a speaker and if you are building any alarm project you would need a buzzer and if you are making any sound sensing projects like clap switch or any voice reactive light you would need a condenser mic so this is a speaker these are buzzers and this is a condenser mic you can have at least one of these in your storage now now i'm going to discuss the last component that you should have in your inventory box these are voltage regulators voltage regulators are used to limit the power supply to a project like if you are having a 9 volt battery and if you need 5 volt for your project you can use a voltage regulator or say you have a 12 volt battery and you need 5 volt supply for a project you need a voltage regulator so i would suggest that you should have lm7805 that gives 5 volt lm7809 that gives 9 volt lm7812 that gives 12 volt in your stock at least one piece of each and the next one is lm317 that is a variable voltage regulator you can build a variable power supply with this regulator i have a video posted already in my channel you can see so i would suggest these voltage regulators should be in your stock so these are the basic components that that you need to start electronics as your hobby as i said earlier there are hundreds and thousands of components in the market you do not need to buy those at the very beginning start with these much components develop your skills in electronics and then you would understand your own requirement and then you buy further components and then i have a suggestion that buy this type of component box it is available in the market or on any online store like amazon or ebay you can have one and you can keep all your components in this in an organized manner so that you can easily find your component that you need at the time of doing a project so with this i would say enjoy your hobby and i would conclude the video here i'll meet you again in new video very soon till then bye bye take care have a nice time